So one of the challenges with nitrogen use is the fact that if we overuse it, we're putting money into the ground that we're not going to see back into our crop. And if cotton's growing is largely about profitability, then why do you want to be spending money that you're not going to see returned? First up, do your soil tests. Actually know what's in the soil, know what that nitrate level is, and, and therefore have an expectation of what the crop will actually see from the soil, just from that reserve that's there, if any. Then ask yourself, how much crop am I going to grow? What's a realistic um, bale per hectare outcome for me? And you'll get that from either some idea about what the season's holding out to be, what you've grown in previous years. Look at the data that's available on nutrient offtake, and then you could start to say, all right, well, let's generate a budget. We know what's in the soil. We know what the plant's going to need. You can see all that differences, and then you can start to work out how much nitrogen you're going to put down to try and achieve that. In the past, we go all up front. It takes away that risk. So you can't get back in the field or you can't apply later on. More recently, split application is probably a good way to go. It partitions that ability to feed the plant. The plant doesn't need that nitrogen until it's growing vegetatively and really going, I think gangbusters is a term we've been using a fair bit lately. But when it's pulling that green matter on, that's when it needs that nitrogen. So the nearer to that crop you can get that nitrogen, the better. You might be looking then at alternatives, side dressing, uh, catching storms early in the year to try and bed that in, or using irrigations to move that nitrogen into profile. And alternatively, you might be looking at water run type products. So there are many options out there, and it largely comes down to, I guess, the area you're in, what's available to you, your experiences with some of those techniques and technologies, and at the end of the day, your own approach to risk. There's no set recipe, and I think people really hoped we would tell them this is exactly how you do it, but every valley is different. Every farm is different, and in a lot of cases, every field is different. There are options of getting nitrogen into the system. So they might seem costly, or they might be something you're new to, but they're definitely there. But that coming up short is certainly not something you want to do. The genetics in our current varieties are there to grow really, really big crops. And what basically limits us from doing that is stress, whether that's a water stress, a temperature stress, or a nitrogen or other nutrient stress. So how do I avoid coming up short? I reckon that the tissue testing, particularly PDL testing, is a very good way to go. You've got to look at those multiple point tests. You've got to be looking to see where you sit on that graph. And if you're in those lines, if you're between that acceptable and excessive line set that's on those tissue tests, then you're OK. If you're putting down too much, what's the challenge? And the challenge there is profitability, but there's the other concern as well, which is losses. If you're going to get a lot of moisture around, you're going to start losing that nitrogen. It's those losses that governments are interested in. That's where we're judged as an industry on the international scale, if you like. Well, what happens if you do get that large major rain event and you think you've got the losses? How big was the rain event? How much loss are you thinking about? Look at the science that tells us about what sort of losses of nitrogen we see on the back of an irrigation or a large rain event. And I would then say, still come back to the plant, because at the end of the day, the plant's still determining what it's seeing in that soil. Take another tissue test if it's still within the bounds of effective sampling and see what the plant says. Has it still got adequate N or is it lost? If you're falling below that adequate line, then you've still maybe got a few windows of opportunity to try and get some more N into that crop. So look at the science, look at what we're doing, make it work for you.